Today I'm going to show you guys how to add more hospital check-ins per suggestion. I'll be using a hospital in Sandy and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to thank you all for the support and I have been seeing a lot of suggestions that I'll be covering. I'll also be releasing a Discord server so you can put them in there and things can be streamlined. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well so you can join. As time goes on, I'll update it and make changes as needed. I hope you enjoy the video. First, go ahead and join your server because you'll need to copy cores and get the model of the beds. While you're connecting, go to your server resources and go to QB Ambulance Job. And once you're in there, go ahead and open the config. And then we're going to scroll down to the checking section and copy the one that's here. Hit enter and paste it. From here, we'll change the number in the bracket to three to make sure it lines up. And you can label this wherever it's going to be, just so you know it's different. Then we're just going to leave this here while we go back into the game and get the location where you want the player to be prompted to check in. So once you find that location, type slash admin. Go down to developer options and copy the vector three cores. Once you're copied, go back to the config and replace them here. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bed section. So depending on how many beds your MLO has or whatever area, that's how many more spots we're going to make. So mine has six, so I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it twice. And then here you can, of course, label the spot if you want. After you've done that, we're just going to fix the numbers here so they all line up. Then we're going to tab back in and type slash admin. Go down to developer options and view entity mode. Then we're going to do free aim mode. Then we're going to go over to the beds. And from here, we're going to copy the info and open notepad or somewhere where you can paste it. And then all we need is the model hash. So we'll copy that, go back to the config, and then we'll replace it. And I have some that are different, so I'll need to get the hash of those. All right. Next, we're going to go to all the beds and copy the vector for locations and fill them in. I'll start with this one and take this away. Just get onto the bed. And then go back to the config. And replace it. All right, after you've done that, we're going to hit file and save. We're going to go back to the resource. And we're going to go to the locale section. All right, so once we're in here, we're going to scroll down to the info area. And under here, we're going to copy this, actually. And paste it here, and then we're going to rename this. Make sure you remember what you put the name as. And then this is for the blip, so label it what you want it to say. And then after you've done that, hit file and save, and then we're going to go back to the config. So once we're in the config, we're going to scroll down to the stations area. 
and we're going to copy this hit enter and paste we're going to make sure the numbers match up and then rename this to what we just put in the locale section and we're also going to put commas after this one and after this last bracket then we're going to tab in and we're going to go to where we want the blip to be so it can be anywhere copy the vector 4 go back to the config and then replace it from here you can hit file and save start your server and test it out all right so we're back in the server and the Whip is here and working fine, so we're going to have to try to check in. Alright. All right, and everything's working fine. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and a sub. And if you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below.